Hey guys, Inferno here. And then first look at Songs of Conquest. It's a game by Lava Potion. And it's come out on Steam in early access on the 10th of May 2022. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to check the settings. There we go. Very nice. So Song of Conquest, I've been looking forward to this one because it looks very much like Heroes of Might and Magic 3, which is one of my favorite games of all time. It was very revolutionary. I think it was 1999 when that one came out. Or 1998, I'm not sure. Let's go into single player. Let's go campaign. We've got the first song, The Son of Stoutheart, From the Ashes, and then Custom Campaign. So, Cecilia Stoutheart, young Baroness of the Barony of Stoutheart, must face enemies within and without to hold on to her power and protect her people. Stoutheart will stand. The second campaign, the second song, From the Ashes. Freed from the slave mines of Barrier, Rask of South Creek Flats and a small band of Rana fleet can fight their way to the deep marsh and home. But the dangers in the marsh are many and Rask must awaken the night of Rana to end the threat from the humans once and for all. From ashes we rise. So the music's probably still cranking out a bit high. Let's go. We don't, want to, we don't want to ruin the beautiful music, but we also don't want to be drowned. So let's start campaign. We'll go to mission one, a new baroness. In the year 593 AA, I don't know what AA is yet, young Cecilia Stoutheart rose to baroness after the untimely death of her father. When all shipments from Barkspur's rich mines go missing and rumours of bandits are brought to the new ruler, Cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing resources and restore lawfulness to the barony. Let's go. Alright. Really looking forward to seeing how this plays. I've heard really good things. Okay, so you start out the new Baroness of the Barony of Stoutheart was on her way to the quarries of Flint Hills. All shipments of stone from this region had stopped and she was determined to find out why. She suspected an uprising of bandits and peasants, and had already sent troops to the region to restore order. Alrighty, so we got shinies straight up. So we'll go visit, tutorial movement. Click the right mouse button to set a destination for your wielder. Right click the same destination again to confirm and move. As a wielder you also interact with locations using right mouse button. Left mouse button is used for selection and inspecting. The movement indicator shows how many movement points your wielder has left. This is refreshed each turn. When your wielders have no more movement, you might want to end your turn. If you have nothing left to build or research, press the end turn button on the bottom right corner. Got it. Okay. Confirm that move. Death comes to all sooner than others. 250. Is that experience? Yes. We'll go to the Aurelian milestone. Old master and shows the way. Plus two movement. Can I move this? Oh yeah. WSAD moves the camera. Can I move it? No. That's all cool. Uh, done that. Then we got something over here. So I'm going to move here. This is exciting. I love revealing the fog of war. It's always very cool to to see what's coming up. A dead commander. The dead commander wore stout art colours and the distinctive sign of the Corvus reserves. Stolen ore was one thing, but an uprising against Stoutheart troops was more serious. Okay, so we're out of movement, so we will end turn. Okay, game saved. So we'll visit that. Dead Commander, an old artifact is found in the body. It could prove useful in the time to come, or sold for gold. So, let's... What does that give us? Plus one offense. And we've got no gold, but that's okay. I reckon we'll find gold. Your wielder has gained a new artifact. You can review your inventory and equipment in the wielder sheet next to your wielder portrait. 
Okay, an artifact will be auto-equipped if your wielder has an empty equipment slot of the right type. So we've got uh, Cecilia, which is level 1. We've got Order. Order controls and enhances the skills of creatures who carry essence. Uh, movement, we've got Wielder Sheet. The Wielder Sheet gives you an overview of your Wielder. This is where you can check your skills, powers, inventory, and equipment and modifiers. Skills are abilities that you gain as you level up. They give powerful enha enhancements and can range from gaining gold each turn to increased offense or more essence. Powers are awarded to a Wielder once they reach level 8 and every 8th level after that. The Wielder will gain a new power or the option to upgrade into current power. Powers are similar to skills but more powerful. A Wielder can only have two different powers at a max level of 2. Artifacts are equipable gear that you can you will find on the adventure map. You can also gain them as spoils of war after a battle against the powerful enemy wielder. Drag and drop the artifacts from your inventory to the appropriate equipment slot to gain the magical special bonuses. Right click an artifact in the inventory to auto equip it and replace any item already in that slot. Wielder attributes. While leading their troops into battle, the wielder will pass on values in offense and defense directly to their troops. For offense, this is divided into melee offense and range offense when relevant for a specific troop. Movement and view radius are only for the wielder to use on the adventure map and will not directly help the troops in battle. Movement indicates how far the wielder can travel and also how much that gain can get done in a single turn on the adventure map. View radius is a value that indicates how much the adventure map is visible to the wielder. And last sheet before we battle again, the wielder can collect a lot of modifiers and bonuses from skills, artifacts or special locations on the adventure map. Some modifiers affect only the wielder on the adventure map, some are temporary and only last a few rounds but most help your troops in battle. The modifiers menu provides a summary of all those modifiers presented in three different tabs Troop, Temporary, and Equipment. Equipment modifiers summary of all the modifiers from your current equipment, equipped items. Uh, temporary modifiers show a summary of all the current temporary modifiers in effect, usually from a map location that gave your wielder a temporary bonus. Troop modifiers show a summary of all your modifiers and wielder attributes that will be directly passed on to your troops. Okay, so we've got our dagger. Let's keep going. Looted cart. It says it's looted already. 700 gold. Boom. And two wood. Okay. So that's going to take two turns to get there. Now, we've got another milestone. Uh oh. Some wounded soldiers appeared from the forest and snapped to attention. This was Cecilia's Corvus reserves, and they had clearly seen combat recently. Hail Baroness, the Corvus Reserves await your command. Lieutenant, you've seen some combat. What is the situation and status of the mines? Our scouts detected hostiles about Milady. The gold mine to the south has been seized by rebels. We also encountered an unexpectedly well-armed force at Flint Hills to the west. We took heavy casualties and were forced to retreat. How well-armed? These aren't peasants with tools and knives. They have crossbows and swords and bannerless knights ride with them. This is no peasant uprising. Someone thinks me weak and seeks to take advantage of my father's death to steal more than a few shipments of ore. We must uphold the laws and show them the error of their ways. Gather the troops, we march for Flint Hills. Troops want to join, so we're going to get five footmen and five rangers. What does mass move mean? Uh, yeah, I want... Definitely, how do I... Oh... This is a mass move. Yeah, boom, boom. Sweet. Retake Flint Hills. Okay, let's get this first. Take back the gold mine. Optional. Let's do that, because it's right here. Soldiers are camped here. Their camp can be pillaged for gold, or the soldiers can be recruited when they return. Let's get the rangers, because I don't think we need gold just yet. Okay, resting for all is well, well, plus three movement. And let's save the game. I always call my games stop. Let's go. Oh, we're going to do it in the next turn. Right. 
Seems there are between 1 and 25. Can I click to compare? No, not yet. Stand down. This mine belongs to the Barony of Stoutart. It belongs to me. We do. We will do no such thing. You would be wise to go back to your castle and prepare for a storm. There's one coming, I gather. The only storm gathering here is me. Prepare yourselves. Troop deployment. On the deployment screen, you can arrange your troops before entering battle. You can only place troops on tiles with your team colour. Tiles that are elevated can give bonuses to offense and defense to both melee and ranged troop units. Ranged troops can target any enemy within their range, and within their deadly range, they will affect double damage. Oh, cool. There's no line of sight. The only limit is how far their weapons reach. But note, you can increase their range by moving to high ground. In the top right corner, you see the enemy troops, if you have enough scouting. They will be placed on the colored tiles on the right side of the battlefield. If you engage the enemy and then realize that the opposing army is too powerful, you can withdraw at no penalty. If the enemy engages you, there is no possibility to withdraw. The quick battle option will auto-resolve the battle and present the outcome to you. After the battle, you'll be presented with your results, victory or defeat. The troops lost in battle will be shown for each side, and if the two combatants are wielders, there is the chance of spoils of war in the form of artifacts. Awesome. If you are defeated, you lost all your troops, which means that your wielder is dead. A dead wielder can be revived at a cost or for free after a given number of rounds at any of your towns or settlements. Okay. So we don't quite know what they are. So I think I'm going to put these guys behind my footman just in case. And let's go manual battle. In battle, your goal is to kill all enemies. There's a lot of tutorials, but it's kind of good. Your wielder, or the enemy wielder, is not present on the battlefield, but acts as a spellcaster from behind the lines. The order of battle follows the battle queue, which is based on each troop's initiative. You can only control a troop on their turn, their battle turn. Use right-click right to move and target enemy troops. Hovering an enemy troop will, with your cursor will provide an attack preview. Using left button on any troop will give you a full display of troop information. Whenever a troop gets a turn, the wielder will gain essence for your spellcasting. Your wielder also generates essence it might have gained from artifacts, specialization skills, buildings, or research at the start of battle and for each new battle round. The spells button will indicate available spells you can currently cast. The quick bar will default auto populate the top available spells for each easy access in battle. Obstacles such as stakes, barrels, or other objects can be cleared by damaging them. High ground gives offense and defense bonuses to both melee and ranged. Ranged troops can target any unit within their range. Uh, there's deadly ranges. Most troops have an attacks of opportunity. If you move a troop into an enemy troop's melee range, the zone of control, and then try to move within, through, or leave that area, the enemy troop will perform a free attack. Fair enough. Most troops also have abilities. During a turn, they can move an attack or move and use an ability. Remember that using an ability will, in most cases, end the turn of that troop. Got it. So, oh, ranged bastards. So, can I, oh, it's, okay, so it's turn order. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right, well, let's get these guys here then. More spells available. Your wielder has gained more essence, and more spells are now available to cast. If your wielder has enough essence, you can cast multiple spells on each of your troops' battle turns. Each battle turn, your current troop gives your wielder essence to be used for spellcasting. Other essence sources, such as skills, and okay. Right. Target friendly troop gets plus five initiative plus duration of one troop round. So let's cast that on here, and let's let get these guys to target six to nine. There, let's go. Interesting, so that, oh, okay, so they're on the high ground and they're on the low ground, right. Attack. Alright, so let's go to here. Let's get those guys down. Your trip, yep, that's fine. Okay. Let's weaken these guys. Nice. Let's go here. Oh, bastards. Okay, let's move up here. And then 
attack those guys. Turn you round and let's get protection or let's protect our troops. And uh, so we're in turn that one. Boom! Victory! Love the kill shot. Alright, so we lost two footmen, but that's alright. 250 experience, cool. I'm oh, level two! Level up wielder. Leveling up your wielder is all about skills and powers. You can choose to either upgrade a skill your wielder already knows, learn a new skill, or increase the wielder's ability to command their troops by unlocking more slots in their army. The new skills offered are determined by the class of your wielder. Spellcasters will often, more often be offered essence-related skills than battle-oriented wielders. Some skills are also not available to be picked before you reach a high enough level. At level 8, your wielder will be able to choose their first power. From there on, the wielder will be presented with new power options at every 8th level. Powers have superior skills and will add a real advantage in both battle and building your kingdom. You are able to close the level up menu if you need to review things or don't feel ready to pick a skill or power. You can always come back to the left choices by clicking the left circle. Okay. Right. So, your troops gain melee resistance. Your troops gain range resistance. Unlocks the ability to bring four troops with you in your army. Hmm. I kind of feel like ranged is a big thing. Yeah, I think ranged resistance. Okay. okay. Let's claim the mine. Take back the gold mine. Done. Tick. Receiving 500 gold a turn, I think I said. Beautiful. Okay, we've visited that, so let's go back. Oops, here. And been there, I think. All right, game saved. Beautiful. So there is an auto save. Okay, so we've got a source of power. Cecilia was no ordinary commander. She was a wielder and could draw upon the essence of her troops to weave mighty spells. As she touched the old tribute to orders, she felt its essence empower her. That power would be needed in the battles ahead. Okay. Another one. Ooh. Waking this, walking this old battlefield inspires caution. Okay. So there is something there too. So I wonder if you can go through. No. I can get there. Yeah, I can get there though. So let's do that. Soldiers can't hear, they can't can be pillars for gold. No, let's get the militia. Wait. Cause uh what happens when you get too many? Or does it just go there? Just goes there, cool. Oh, so that's militia and that's rangers. Militia. Uh damage one to three, health six. Damage two to three, health seven, okay. Let's get. Let's just keep building an army. The bigger the we army, the easier the battles will be. Let's do it. Wow. Archers Gambeson. So was that for us, or was that for? No, that was for us. Cool. Plus four defense. Nice. Okay. Let's go to here. Hundreds of years ago, the Empire of Relia spanned the whole world. Statues of the Empress can still be found spread across Arleon, Ar and many folk speak dreamingly of the golden years of Aurelia. Awesome. Oh, we're rolling in the cash. Uh, yeah. So,
erected barricades and a small force of armed peasants blocked the road west. You best be gone, young Stoutheart. Flint Hills are free lands now. Free? Free to be attacked by bandits and pillaged by other baronies. Who would protect the people? You? Why not? As you can see, we are quite well armed. I can see that, but I caution you to think carefully before your next actions. Put down your weapons, answer my questions, and I'll be merciful. Or, stand unlawfully against me and my sword will deliver justice. Now, who armed you? One of good intentions. I've seen Stoutheart Mercy when old Lord Hammond was decapitated by your father. Now, turn back. It brings me no pleasure to turn my sword upon my subjects, but unlawful acts will not be tolerated. Stoutheart will stand. Okay. Let's do a quick battle this time. There's three enemy units. Resolving the battle. So we lost two militia, and they lost all of those. Victory confirmed. Okay, out of movement. 900 gold. Oh, look at this. Bannerless Knights. Okay, let's get this first. Source of power, plus one movement. Nice. Okay, I'm going to save it. Just in case. Now, is there a way to see his power? No, not yet. As Cecilia's troops approached Flint Hills, a well-armed force of soldiers wearing no baronies' colours came out to meet them. Knights, archers, you're no ordinary bandit force. I've always wanted to kill a wielder. You won't be the first upstart knight I've defeated. Let's do this manually. This guy really deserves a kick. Now, I didn't, I didn't arrange my troops then. Uh oh Okay. So we've got Essence here. Now let's go to here. We're going to have a fight with him, but that's fine. Now. Oh, out of range just. Oh, I see. So the double damage will be in here. Then they've got that. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that doesn't matter. So if we go to... Oh, okay. So maybe the crossbow has limited range than, than the um. Oh, I see. Boom. Oh, look out! So, I think we should get rid of this guy. Oh gosh. Okay. So. I am going to protect this guy. Cannot attack while reloading. Whoa. And I can't get out because he will. Okay, let's kill. Nice. Brilliant. Okay, let's go down here. Still out of range, damn. Cheeky bugger. And this guy will go here. And, hold on, hold on. All friendly troops get plus. Yeah, that's nice. Boom. Still can't get there. <laughs> Boom! Brilliant. Wow, 18 militia loss. Jeez. Okay. A crowd of peasants led by a village other came out to greet Cecilia as her force entered Flint Hills. 
I have defeated the rebels and restored Flint Hills to the protection of Stouter, as is my duty. Now, who among you will tell me what happened? Those knights and their soldiers appeared recently and armed all the local troublemakers. They seized our quarries and mines and started sending troops south towards Barkspur where the patron waits. And none of you stood against them? None of you sent word to the local warden or to Springhold? No, my lady. We were afeard of our lives. We sent a messenger to Hope's Glade to warn them and ask for help, but the messenger never returned. Remember this moment the next time you are made the offer of independence. I will always protect the barony from threats within and without. Join my forces and together we will restore order to this territory. <coughs> Excuse me. We will heed the call to arms of Stoutheart as we did for your father before you. There are able-bodied recruits in the peasant town. So we have to investigate Hope's Glade which is down there. But let's go to a source of riches. Excuse me. Oh, geez. So, militia. We can get 46 for 6 there. Uh, for how much? Well. Well, I reckon we just get, say, 20. Archer's helmet, nice. Solutions. Claim the mine. Claim that mine. Okay. Uh oh small band of Cecilia scouts stood waiting along the roadside. Lady Stoutheart, Corporal Greenwood, we've come from your warden, Villa of Thorncliffe, as per your command. Your troops are concealed at the forest's edge. Corporal, this is not the forest edge. These troops are camped within the tender world. You may have disturbed the Fey. The Fey, my lady? Surely the Fey are only a myth. Superstitions for the country folk. Did my ancestors sign a covenant with mythological creatures? The law of the leaves still stands and we must make sacrifice or break the peace. Consider what, what we must forfeit to the forest begin beings to atone for your error. I await your judgment, life, my life is yours. Your death would serve no one. If I remember my history, there is an offering tree southwest of here. Join up, Corporal, I need all of my troops, even the ones who make mistakes. The loyal servant, Lady Stanner. Let's bring all fire. Are these range is good. Spirits.
Place an offering at the offering tree. Where is the... Oh, there. Let's do it. Oh. Where's the offering tree? Oh, you can move that zoom out. Cool. Uh, offering tree. Offer oh, down here. Alright, well, let's get... Let's get in here then. I guess we have to take out these Fae. <clears throat> fae spirits, flying creatures of the tender wild. With bat like wings, long claws, and sharp teeth, swooped and buzzed before the offering tree. They wore strange masks and screeched at Cecilia and her troops. Humans be gone! We wish to leave an offering for our trespass on the forest, as is stated in the ancient covenant between us. Stand aside, little spirits, I will do my duty. No humans, none, none ever. Spirits, do not trifle with me. I am Stoutheart, and by the agreements I seek to make amends. If you continue to impede my passage to the offering tree, I will draw arms and put you out of your misery. You are misery. Misery! So be it. Okay, so we want to get these guys there. Prob oh, there's two there. Okay, so let's put those guys there and these guys there. Actually, swap, because they're on high ground. Let's do this. I hope this wasn't a mistake. Oh, there's a lot of them. Alright, so we can attack these guys straight up. Let's get smashing. Boom. You've just killed an enemy troop. All your troops will get a momentum bonus to their offense and defense for a few rounds. Okay, so these guys, let's go to... So, a new skill. You unlocks the ability to bring four troops with you in. Oh, okay. I think we should do four. Oh. Your wielder gains 15% experience gain. Oh, that's tempting. Okay, let's get boots for an artifact. Why can't we get that? Oh, because they're blocked by those. Now we've got the tree off, the offering. Let's go. The offering tree was the most unusual tree Cecilia had ever seen. Her friend, Julia of Thorncliff, had described them once, but it had not done them justice. The branches were smooth and glossy and seemed to be lit from within. The leaves tinkled like tiny bells in the breeze, and most uncommon, the tree gave off the aroma of warm spiced cider like her mother would give her when she was small. Fae of the forest, for trespass upon your woods we offer compensation. For these Fae spirits slain, I ask forgiveness. They could not be reasoned with, let our peace be everlasting. As the offerings were presented, the forest around Cecilia grew quiet. Hopefully it was enough. So we lost a thousand gold. That's okay. Alright, now we've got to investigate Hope's Clan. So, let's go all the way out to here. It's going to take three turns. Let's go. Oh, shit. I thought it would auto do the. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's. Between 25 and 100. So we've got 54, 74. Wow. As Cecilia examined the strange art, she noticed that it was almost warm to touch and vibrated slightly. She had studied many strange ruins from the times of Aurelia, but never one that seemed so well. Oh, nice! Uh, let's get ranged resistance. That's actually pretty good. Mm. Offense and defense. Okay. For two turns. Oh, it's temporary. Let's 
save. Barian mercenaries. Guarding the road was a large force of mercenaries hailing from the merchant estates of Barrier. Turn back. The road is open for all shipments from Flint Hills only. I see you are strangers to these lands, or you would know me as the lawful Baroness Stouthart. I do not recall a declaration of war from the Barian city-states. Therefore, you are thieves and trespassers. What other crimes shall I add to the list? We've committed no crimes. We are honourable mercenaries here on contract and merely following orders. I spit on your contract. Pip. You have my ore, therefore you are thieves. You will return it, tell me who hired you, and maybe I will ransom you back to your employers. We are not afraid to fight you, Stouthart, but be warned. Our contact states no one wearing Stouthart colours are to be spared on the field of battle. Of course, if you turn around now, we can avoid this battle. Never! You shall be treated as thieves and trespassers, and my sword will deliver justice for breaking our laws. Then, unfortunately, we must die. Okay, so they've got something, something, something. That's high ground. Let's put our footmen. Actually, let's put them. Let's put them back a bit, and let's let's actually leave them there, and we'll weaken them before they get too close. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave those guys right there. These guys can come to me, and I will shoot them as they come. Doing well. Okay, so we're, Hope's Glade is coming up. Alright, here we go. The Celia's troops searched the smoking remains of Hope's Glade looking for survivors. The townsfolk had clearly put up a fire, and for that they had suffered. From the rubble they heard a moan and they got uncovered a badly injured militiaman. Lady Stoutheart, we held as long as we could. We had to retreat. They were too strong. Who did this? Barians? A troop of Barian mercenaries marched on towards Barksburg, but it were knights that attacked us. Men of Aelian setting fire to our homes, taking no surrender. All we could do was flee to the hills north of here. The mood of man tried to speak, then fell limp. His eyes glazed over as the last sliver of strength left his body. His essence is in the wind, but Stoutheart still stands. Come, there are survivors here yet. Let's search the hills before we journey south to Barksburg. It's time to put an end to this. Alrighty. Look for survivors. Let's do that. Uh, let's get worn gloves. Now, how are we going for equipment? As they reached the top of the hill, they found a sturdy tavern and the soot covered injured and scarred survivors of Hope's Glade. From among them, a minstrel stood and greeted Cecilia. Hail, do I, must my eyes deceive? The Baroness of Stoutheart to grant and reprieve. If you mean to avenge these foul knights, then we brave souls will join your fight. And with your aid, start heart will stand, returning peace and order to the land. Okay, so we've got the tavern. No available spot. So next time we level up. Oh, upgrade, damn. Okay, so we'll come back to that. What can they do? Uh, two to four, melee offense. That's cool. Plus five defense to friendly. Awesome. We'll come back to that. How are we going for XP? Okay. Now 
would like to get those guys eventually, but can't yet. Barksburg. Gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Barksburg. It was clearly occupied by another force of barium mercenaries. This one led by a wielder. She readied her soldiers for the final battle to retake this region. Defeat the enemy wielder. Uh oh. Ooh, a troop of pipers. Oh jeez. One, two, three, four, five. So threat level medium. I'm going to do the quick battle on this one. Actually, I'm going to do manual battle. No, nah, manual battle. Let's do it. Oh god. <clears throat> this could be bad. After the battle of a beaten Amanda Breeze is brought before Celia, Wilder, we appeal to your honour and beg that we may negotiate a surrender. I am Amanda Breeze of the Quartz Battalion and a stranger to these parts. I concede the field and will draw my forces. You are indeed a strange variant, or you would know by my colours that I am Cecilia Stoutart. Was it your weapons that armed the bandits who caused the uprising at my mines? There was a misunderstanding, my lady. We were led to believe by our employer that they had a lawful claim on these lands. When we realised our betrayal, we had already signed the contract. By the mercenary code, we could not withdraw our services. Reveal to me your employer and their plans. If I am satisfied with your answer, I will spare you, but every variant of your company must leave my lands immediately. It was Lady Hammond that hired us. The Topaz Battalion is sent to recover Ashbourne. We are grateful for your mercy, Lady Stoutart. May this deal bring good fortune to each party. The information is adequate. I will spare your life and instead send you to the prison in the castle Everkeep. There you may contemplate that honour might be worth more than gold. Corporal, this is your chance to redeem yourself for your error in the Tenderworld. Take two squads and transport Captain Amanda Breeze to Everkeep until we can arrange for his ransom. You can depend on me, Lady Stoutart. Victory. With Barksburg restored to Stoutheart rule of law, Cecilia gathered her troops once more and set out to pursue the Topaz Battalion and prevent the occupation of Ashbourne. For this, she would need the aid of Villa of Thorncliffe, Warden of Stoutheart and Cecilia's longtime friend. <laughs> Grim conviction rose Cecilia of stout heart to crush rebellions and push back another upstart. Lady Hammond claimed her. Son. 
settlements, settling, we begin. calls that that's awesome all right well i'm going to leave it there for my first look at this game that is so damn cool all right my name's inferno i hope you enjoyed this video thank you to lava potion for the review key and as i said earlier songs of conquest out in early access on steam released on 10th of may 2022 and published by coffee stain publishing thanks for watching and i will see you next video